In the heart of Myrtle Beach, there is a diamond in the rough. It is a secluded world of its own. Having multiple freshwater lakes, a private beach, and over 500 acres, the Mare Baba Spiritual Center is truly one of a kind. The center is known as a retreat for rest, meditation, and renewal of the spiritual life for those who follow Mare Baba or would like to know more about his teachings. Being almost 70 years old, the center was co-founded by Elizabeth Patterson and Irina Machabelli in 1944. Within the center, there are many devoted followers. Possibly one of the most devoted is Buzz Connor. We are standing at the Cabin on the Hill, which was the original cabin built for Mir Baba to stay in when he visited the center. And also the cabin here, the near cabin and the far cabin, are named that way because they're near and far to his clap, because he was silent. So when he needed something, he would clap, and then his disciples, men, who would stay in those cabins, could hear him. This is the barn. And the barn was originally a mule barn that was in Conway that Elizabeth bought. It is the place in the 50s when Baba was here where he would meet with large groups. And there'd be often entertainment, singing and dancing. There were some professional dancers who came down here. We are at Mayor Baba's house, which was built for him in the early 50s and where he stayed when he visited here his times when he was here in the 50s. It also is one of the three places where he said he wanted it to be kept as it was when he was here. So tell me about Mayor Baba. Um, after all, it is Mayor Baba who brought you to Mayor Center, even though Mayor Center is of historical value. It's because of Mayor Baba the Center exists. Mayor Baba's path is about love and service. It's about love for God and service to humanity. His being here, because he is um, this great being, his being here has made Mayor Center a sacred place in our minds and in our hearts. So this place is a place that for many people around the world is one of the most sacred spots on the planet. Who would have thought Myrtle Beach, South Carolina could be that? But for many of us, it is a place of pilgrimage. It's a place where people come from all over the world and they want to spend time here, they want to be here because he was here, because there's a feeling, a presence here that people can participate in.